Okay, all creepiness aside, I gotta admit, that's a very creative way to use your hair. Although, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. That is for sure. Uh, what the hell? Apparently she healed somehow. Oh yeah, she must do it while these things are alive. Okay, so... Better they die quickly, I guess. Stench. Yeah, that is a nasty way to go. And like I mentioned before, I can't help but thinking... Maybe she threw that prince out the window. You're damn right, Geralt. Alright, hopefully those sell for a decent amount. What exactly is up here, though? Um... Yeah, see, I want to jump off this thing, but I'm not sure what lies below. I mean, it could be a decent amount of water that would somehow support our fall, but I don't think I really want to risk it. I think that might be some kind of a drachnoid down there, though. Huh. Well, at least we got a nice view out of it. You know what? Maybe we could have used that thing. Because now that I'm down here, I can clearly see there's a good amount of water. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Detlaf was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. Okay, that is really odd. Because I was under the impression she had been with Detlaf for a while. And for her to just use him as a so-called tool, that entire time is, I guess like I said, a little odd. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detlaf. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. But he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? So, what happened after that? What happened then? We talked. Then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally. Wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. 
But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Well, that's a very harsh way to put it, but... Fair enough. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid. I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Yeah, maybe she's ready to say goodbye, but I actually quite like this place. Definitely one of my favorite areas in the game. But in terms of things we still need to find, we have obviously one more bean. Looks like the three bears. And I'm not sure if all these are optional, but I think I'd like to see them nonetheless. So while we were on top of that tower, we did see the Drachnoid, or at least that's what I think it was. So we could go check that out, although I'm assuming it might be part of one of these other things. But here's the, yeah, the flint salesman. So we'll see what she needs. Care for a cigarillo? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? <sighs> Remind me, what tale are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Yeah, what's the whole deal with this ribbon? Why is it so special? The Ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from Ethel. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ribbon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears. Could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Sorry, kid. Doesn't look like you have much of them. But come on, it can't be that big of a deal. Why don't you just return it? Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? It has been a while, but... I won't refuse. Alright, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. None from around here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the new deck that they came out with. We don't have enough cards, but it's the Skellige deck. Alright, so... She's got the Elven one, and they don't usually use melee characters, but we'll keep the snow just in case. So we'll get rid of him. And... I guess this guy too. Alright, that's a pretty decent deck I'd say. Now if we want, we could use this the first round, which I'm going to try to do, since it appears it's working. That being said, I think I'd rather use some of our other melee characters this time around. Alright, so that one's going to kind of screw us. 
either way. Because any with a crazy symbol like that can't be affected by any of the weather cards. Or I guess any effects in general. But we'll go ahead and save this one till the very end. So he doesn't try to clear it with a clear weather card. Alright, so, so far he's got quite a bit of points in there, which looks to be good, at least for us. Yeah, I guess we might as well use it now and see if he just decides to pass afterwards. Alright, so there's his melee character. And that would put him ahead, so if we wanted to, we could just try and use this. I think we might as well. Okay, that was a decent move. Because now he can use that thing against us. But what if we go ahead and try... One of these... Because we still have more points in him in than the uh, melee category, so I'm not too keen on using that weather card. Yeah, we are really going to have to fight for this one. Especially since he ended up with that one. Or she, I should say. Keep forgetting it's a little girl. Now we're still ahead so I think we'll go ahead and pass because that way if she keeps deciding to push more cards out to try and beat us yeah like that we should be able to win the next few rounds at least I'd hope so Yeah, she's only got two cards left against R6, plus this one should give us another from the grave. Oh yeah, and if we decided to use this one, that would be perfect. Because now we could just use one of these other weather cards and... Oh yeah, this is too easy. So that right there makes us even. And then we'll go ahead and place our weakest one down and call it good. Now this round on the other hand should be quite the battle, depending on what she's got left. But I'd honestly say we're pretty well rounded at this point. We got the uh, weather card archers and also the long range too. Okay, so she's going to use fog, which pretty much destroys her only other card. Oh, and you know what? We're already winning, aren't we? So we'll place that one and there we go. The ribbon is ours. Rumpel, you're good at this. A word to one skiffin. The ribbon's yours. Now skedaddle. Right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you.
Come on, Sienna. Do not do this to me. I've got a lady back home and her name is Triss. But honestly, I didn't do that for her. I mean, you heard the girl. She said she was unbeatable, so... I took that as a fair challenge. So while I was up in the tower, I saw that place over there, which appears to be a decent-sized castle. No clue if we can actually make it all that way. But there's also this one over here, which appears to be at least a little bit closer. So we'll have to check those out in a bit, but... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not more of these pixies. Yeah, and she always seems to have so much trouble with one. But anyways, here's that Drachnoid I was talking about. Doesn't appear to be in good shape either. Recognize it? Once upon a time, a terrible dragon attacked Vizima. It took a clever young cobbler to bring about its defeat. Right. Every now and again, some village idiot tries to imitate him. And I gotta come in to clean up the mess. I shall butcher you! Just one thing in its gut. A half-digested sheep. Stuffed with tar and sulfur. Of course. But no bean. Does that not disgust you? Poking about in a rotting corpse? Compared to the time I fought a Zugo in the Zima sewers, this... Uh, never mind. I feel like telling that story again. Okay, finally. No more pixies. At least for now. Now, while I was up in the tower, I also saw... What I thought was a donkey. Yeah, there it is. And I don't know if it's just me, but... Didn't it look like someone was riding it? Four animals stacked atop each other. What was the tale called again? The Musicians of Blaviken. Huh. You've some link to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. But my tale's not much like this one. No, not much at all. Question is, what exactly are we supposed to do with these things? Oh, get old, get old. You call me cruel. What? I didn't mean to scare him off. Just wanted to say hello. And now I have no clue where they went. But it appears the last two things we need are actually pretty close. I'm guessing this must be the three bears. And that is apparently the big bad wolf. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But the bet, what brings you? Looking for some beans. But if you're thirsty, maybe we could have a quick drink. You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what? No! Not on your life. I can barely stand I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. So like I said, I'm looking for some beans and... You know what? While well, I'm at it, where the heck's Granny and Red Riding Hood? Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? 
I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Okay, I guess it's time to jump down in the well. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. jump in the well break a leg yeah I wouldn't say that still not sure if there's water down there and lucky for us there is oh and a lot more than just water there's red and that must be the hunter Yeah, so we found both of them. No sign of Granny, though. So does that mean she's inside the wolf's belly? I guess it has to, doesn't it? Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Like a girl who's about to get eaten by the big bad wolf. But honestly, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. What are you talking about? She's right here. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear. Roar! 